Hello everyone, today I'm going to be discussing approach shot tips specifically for Anheuser shots. Uh, so I usually like to approach with hyzers just because it's the most comfortable. I think a lot of people are like that. Uh, but then flat shots as well, they can be very touchy with grip locks. And so recently I've been starting to practice Anheuser approach shots, not only because sometimes they are required if you can't get a forehand in, but also they have benefits that hyzers and flat shots don't have. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be running through some shots and see what happens. Alright, so the four discs we're going to be focusing on today. First one's a pig, next two, blackberg, whiteberg, and then lastly the armadillo from Lindstar Discs. Uh, this one, if you're not familiar, it's, it's a lot like the berg. Uh, has a thumb track and just very straight, doesn't really move left or right too much, and drops. Uh, so these four, the pig's definitely the most stable, but I like all of them because they're pretty effective at holding a line. Pig will come out of it the most, uh, but they're just nice for putting on angle and knowing if you throw it right that it's just going to land flat and hardly move at all once it gets to the ground. So let's start throwing them. Alright, so here's our lie. We're 118, 120 feet away. And so I'd say the biggest tip that helped me recently, the thing I started implementing that kind of made it click was really focusing on regardless of if there's a run up or you're just stand still already having that angle ready so in the past I felt like I would either be flat or hyzer and then at the point of release realize this needs to be anhyzer and change it and so the consistency was absolutely not there but now just starting with that angle whatever you approximate based on the disc and the distance having it there and just holding it the whole way through and then following through with it if you were to just I'll demonstrate just cut it as soon as you throw a lot of times it will cause it to kind of stay in your hand and most likely land with too much angle and cut back we'll see if I can demonstrate which not terrible but it did come down a little too steep versus let's say with the berg here let's hope this is this works Just turning my body with it. See that one's like 12 feet away. And so just keeping that angle, following through with it. And then as you obviously increase distance, you're gonna have to put more on it, but sticking with the same disc, ideally something very neutral, like the Berg, like the Armadillo. It's a great disc to just know when you get it flat that you're doing it the right way. Keep practicing with those, change the distance change the angle, things like that. So I'll throw these two, hope they're as good. Good. Last one. Don't mess it up. And there we go. Look at that. Like Macbeth. Alright, so last thing I'll mention, just a second ago I was talking about trying it at different distances. That is important. Uh, but also try with different nose angles. So if you're finding that maybe they're holding the angle too much and cut rolling out maybe try adjusting your nose angle up a little bit so it has more time to recover and get to flat uh, and then vice versa if they're coming out too early uh, maybe adjust it down a little bit uh, so hopefully that helps it is a very fun shot uh, so hopefully you can apply it to your game and lower those scores like we're always trying to do like and subscribe thanks for watching